Hi guys, it's Linda. We're going to do another craft today. Uh, today we're going to be making paper beads. This is something that my mom had actually showed me how to do when I was a child. She actually showed me and uh, several of my cousins and we really had fun doing it. And um, now um, you can do so much more with paper beads than just make little necklaces and bracelets and things like that. But I'm going to go through the basics of how to make a bead. And then I'll show you some ideas on things that you can actually do with them. And then um, at the end of the video, there will also be pictures. What we're going to work on today is just a few different bead types. This one is called the tube bead. And it's just a little cylinder. And it's made with just a strip of paper that is uh, equal at the top and bottom. Just a, a piece that is rolled up forms a nice cylinder bead. And um, this is really cute if you were going to... Um, make a necklace or a bracelet of course and use this as kind of the in-between maybe some round ones or something like that you can make it of course different sizes this was made with a scrap so that I could show you of a piece of paper like this alrighty and then um, there is another one that is oblong and this one is made from this get that out of the way here it's made from this taking a piece of paper that's wide and tapers down as you roll it your wide will start to go in as the paper rolls up and the taper will be in the center and it makes it larger in the center smaller on the ends now um, you can do a small uh, this is kind of a medium bead actually because you can make them much smaller uh, for example here's a really tiny one that I made and it's just made from you know cutting your paper smaller. The longer the paper, the bigger the bead is going to be around. And this also, I used fingernail polish on that. So um, that's one idea that you can use or you can paint them, either one. And then this was made with a really long piece of paper um, because I'm going to turn that into a Christmas ornament. As a matter of fact, I have one that I've started on already and um, I've painted it gold. So it's going to be an ornament like this most likely have something attached at the bottom but then the hanger will be up here so um, you know some things like that you can make them larger smaller you can really be creative with them alrighty and then this is a cone bead also made from this uh, the difference between this one and this one is this one when you're rolling you're staying right in the center you want this in the center the tip of it to come up with this one, you want to roll to one edge all the way down. So you have a flat edge, and as it rolls, it's going to taper into the cone. Okay, get those out of the way. Oh, here's another one that's kind of a medium size. It's still drying, but I'll take it off. Um, it was a pink one. It's just a little bit bigger than the really small one. Um, you can even make this almost round. If I had gone just a little bit narrower on this paper it would have been almost round because you can imagine taking off just a little bit of each edge there and it would have been like a round bead so this is a, a super craft to teach kids we had a ball when we were little learning how to do it and uh, to get to this point to cut it I will show you a nice little shortcut you can freehand if you want but I just used a piece of my scrap paper it's not very thick at all I flipped it over and I used a straight edge here and I marked it off. I went an inch and a half all the way down, turned it around, inch and a half all the way down. Get out the paper cutter. And let's see here. Let me try it. I'm trying to get it all in the frame. I'm not sure we'll be able to do that. But basically what you're going to do and you can do it with scissors as well but um, you want to line up the mark at, at one end then you're going to turn your paper to a caddy corner so that down at the bottom where you're going to be cutting is just at the tip okay move that down and just cut and you get this sorry <laughs> and you get this all right and then the then the opposite end, you're going to have the tip up here, and down there you'll have the inch and a half marked off, and just cut it. 
you'll do that through the whole paper. Now this particular um, sheet of paper, I know that it's gonna be a little bit narrower on one end and I just kept those because I may wanna cut those in half and do some little round beads or I may just wanna do some more of the cylinder beads. So um, you can just hang on to that. Another little tip, when my mom taught us how to do this, she actually taught us using um, old magazines. We uh, would tear the pages out of the magazines and, um, and cut the strips and roll the beads because you're gonna paint them anyway, so it's a nice way to recycle. All right, let's get that out of the way. And we're gonna move this as well. You can actually buy paper bead rollers, but there's no need. Um, my mom taught us on toothpicks. Um, now this, I have a little um, a skewer. I just broke off the So piece. what I started doing with this piece of paper is I started just kind of mashing the end of it to kind of curl it a little bit so that it would fit right on my skewer. Now you can lay this down, kind of line it up and just roll it that way. Or um, some people like to roll toward themselves so that they can keep an eye on it. You're gonna have to really watch it as you're rolling because you wanna keep an eye on this to make sure it stays in the center. There'll be times that it might get off and you'll need to loosen it up just a little bit and re, uh, reposition it, okay? And if you're just starting out and you want, you can keep your glue handy. And as you roll a little bit, just put a spot of glue on there. That way, if you accidentally uh, let go of your grip, it's not gonna unroll all the way. You'll just have a little bit there. Um, so right here, for example, it's looking pretty good on each end. This one's a little bit off. So I'm just gonna pull it, move it just a little, and just drop a tiny bit of glue on there. And that's really more, much more than you really need. But as you roll up, that'll just smear on in into the spot, the uh, roll. Okay, just keep rolling. And I'll just get through this one. And I won't make you watch me roll a bunch. This is just so that you can see it. See how it's coming up toward the end now? We've stayed kind of even on each side of that. Now when I get up to just about here, I go ahead, put a little bit more glue on there. You don't have to run it all the way out to the end because it's gonna push it out as you roll. And as you roll what's left, just keep spiraling that between your fingers. And that's going to give it a little bit of a coating there. Just slide it off and your bead is done. And just set that aside. Okay guys, so uh, we've learned to roll the beads. And um, here's a couple of different sizes I've been working with. We've got a one and a half inch and a two inch bead there. These have been working really well for the projects that I've been working on. I'm putting together some Christmas ornaments. So, um, well, let's just kind of take you through the process here very quickly. Okay, so a typical ornament for me, I'm gonna use um, eight. And I would start with the largest ones glue the ends together like this. Once that sets, I'm going to go ahead and go in with the other two two inch and make a, a plus sign basically, or cross. Sorry about the phone. <laughs> and uh, once you get that done, then I would insert the smaller ones. Now um, you're going to find that, I'm going to put these out of the way, you're going to find that um, you can make some very basic ornaments. Um, you can call them snowflakes, you can call them Christmas flowers, whatever you want to call them. Um, or you can go a little bit more elaborate with them. But basically, once you have them all glued together, um, I like to put a second layer on the top. Uh, just glue those around as well. And then I have uh, coated this one white. Now, um, once you get the basics done here, all of your little petals put on, you can either... Um, you know, leave it as is, put a hanger on it, you're good to go. You can start to embellish them as well. Um, so, let me just pull some out here that we've already got done to give you a few different examples. Um, now, a pretty basic one. Um, let's see here. Okay. 
This one is basic. That one is made with all this pretty much the same size beads there, a one and a half inch. They're just um, all connected uh, with a, just a little stud um, there in the center. Um, on the ends of the beads on these, I had hot glued in some tiny little beads to cover the hole. Uh, then I just painted it all gold. I put some glitter on it as well. That one's pretty basic. Um, another way you could go if you wanted to use two different size beads would be this one. It's uh, I would consider that one pretty basic as well. Um, two of the larger, six of the smaller on each side. What you see here is just some little plastic beads that were kind of put in the center there and then um, painted it one solid color. So don't be afraid of using different mediums together to get the effect that you want. Um, now you can also go a little further like with the silver one here. Now with this one, I just pinch the ends instead of putting beads in the ends. Uh, this one is not completed yet. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little uh, rhinestone there and put the hanger on it. And I was gonna put some more little rhinestones around, but I think on that silver, I, I don't believe it would really show up much anyway. So I'm just gonna leave that one as is. Um, here's another one that's like basic, but one step further. So you've got your basic um, flower and then the small ones added on top as well with just a little uh, bead in the middle there painted one solid color and I think it's cute as well. Um, another thing you could do I would again call basic is the long one. Um, you just make this using a larger piece of paper and um, this one I painted all gold as you can see. I did put a bead in the end of this one and then also gave it a little coat of glitter. And let's see, this one, I used all small beads as you can see and uh, we went with white on that one and the tiny stones around each petal as well as one in the middle. That's gonna bounce the light nicely on a tree. I think that one's really cute. And then we've got this one. Um, again, just doubled it. Uh, this one I want a little more. Uh, I added the, well actually there's four stones on there. A tiny little um, charm there as an embellishment as well. And then we've got this one. So as you can see, you can really just uh, be creative. Use what you have at home. I had a lot of these charms left over from a few years ago when I was working on some projects and I decided to pull them out. I kind of like this one as well. I have a ton of these little beads and so that really was a great way to get those used up. And then we've got this one of course. Another kind of basic just doubled the petals. All right, so from nothing more than a little uh, rolled up piece of paper into a bead, you can make some really cute ornaments. I mean, you can also, of course, make necklaces with these. Um, but for today's purpose, I did want to show you outside the box. Uh, just because it's a bead doesn't mean it has to be a piece of jewelry. So I hope you guys will leave me some feedback on what you're doing. Um, if you've ever done anything like this and if not then I hope you'll use your scrap paper and make something useful out of it uh, upcycle all right if you haven't already subscribed to my channel I hope you'll do that uh, like and share this video and have a great day everybody